Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be testing, unboxing, and answering the question, are Snapchat spectacles even worth it? Also, I bought some prescription lenses for these, so I'm going to be installing those and I'm going to see how well those work. So, let's get into the video. Well, I ordered mine from online, not from a bot, so it came in this box. And interestingly enough, it came from Wisconsin, which I thought it would be coming from like New York or something like that because that's where they had the main store at at one point but okay so let's get into the box I kind of already opened it to take a peek but you know not gonna mention that so on the inside you get the typical container that holds the spectacles themselves and as you can see they custom made the box then it fits in there well so as you guys can see right here it comes with the color of the glasses that you've got printed on the side of the container and it also includes these like security tab things or tape here to show that it hasn't been opened yet as you can see I haven't opened it I'm kind of anxious to open it so let's get to opening it up this tape is actually pretty cool it looks like it's got like a rainbow effect on it I guess since you don't get the receipt printed out they kind of did this instead I don't know if they did this on the actual bots but you know there we go, here's the charging case. And would you look at that? Wow, I opened it upside down, <laughs> of course. Comes with, here's the charging cable, I believe, and maybe some instructions, and then here are the spectacles themselves. Those are actually kind of smaller than what I thought. I figured they were gonna be much, much bigger than this. Here, I'll give you a comparison. Maybe they're, maybe I'm just seeing things, but yeah, I don't know. Here's my glasses in comparison, as you can see. Obviously the lenses are much, much bigger, but I figured that it was gonna be like wider more because when people were wearing them, it looked like they were gonna be much, much wider, but it looks about the same size as my glasses. So that's good to know. So while I was editing this video, I realized that I never even showed what was inside of this white little case right here. And what's inside of this is first off a quick start guide and it tells you to turn on your phone's Bluetooth and put on your spectacles, install the latest version of Snapchat, open Snapchat and swipe down to view your snap code, and then look at your snap code and press the button on your spectacles once to pair. And then also inside of here, it holds the USB cable for charging your Snapchat spectacles case. And this plugs in on the back and then it has a USB-A type right here. So then you can plug that into a regular USB port. Also in here is a microfiber cloth and some legal papers. So yeah, that's what's inside of this little pouch. So in order to pair your spectacles for the first time, it's actually pretty easy. Make sure you have your spectacles on, obviously. Also one thing is when these get out of the box, I had a problem when I first got them, is that they were like practically dead. So it was really hard to pair, but once they're charged, it's actually pretty easy to pair. So you just go into settings and then you scroll down a little bit and you find where it says spectacles. Under spectacles, for the first time, it will bring this snap code up and you just go and you push the record button on your glasses and it will begin pairing. It says spectacles found, connecting to spectacles. And it will begin to connect to your spectacles from your phone. Also, we'll go through the quick setup process. And now since you've seen, I've already had my spectacles for a couple of weeks now. So I have a buildup of some videos here. And so yeah, so now that we've got them paired, for me, I'm gonna install some prescription lenses. So let's get to doing that. So if you've been living with glasses your entire life, you know the struggle of not being able to see after taking your glasses off. So for me, I decided to buy some lenses to put into my Snapchat spectacles. I bought these from Glasses USA, which they apparently start off at like $20, but actually once you put in all the different features and get like the black lenses it ends up being like 85 90 dollars which is quite a bit so i would only say buy these prescription lenses if you plan on wearing your spectacles a lot which i plan on doing in the glasses case you just get a microfiber cleaning cloth you also get the left lens and the right lens so to put these into your spectacles it's actually pretty easy although it's it kind of feels like you're going to break your spectacles but in order to take the lenses out you're going to grab the middle and push the lens down and you'll hear it snap and it will pop out 
and there you go there's one lens out and then take out your other lens same way there you go now with the prescription lenses take that out of the bag and i suggest putting the old lenses into the bags just to set them aside and make sure you keep track of them but to put these in these fit pretty tightly i've noticed especially if your prescription is pretty big which mine is mine's a negative three and a half if anybody wants to know that information in order to put them in you have to line up the camera part first from the front and then you begin going around the lens to pop it in now this is pretty scary because it feels like you're going to break them but do it slowly and there you go so next put in the right lens and you put this one in the same way you just line up the camera there we go okay now it's popped in and there you go now you've got prescription lenses put on to your snapchat spectacles shooting with spectacles for the first time is actually pretty easy to take a video you just press the button and on the inside of the glasses you'll see a light and also on the outside to let other people know that you're recording there will also be a light that's spinning the camera is actually on this side it's on the opposite side of the led but yeah if you want to take a longer video you can press the button more than once you can press it three times to record for 30 seconds so now my spectacles should record for up to 30 seconds and on the glasses themselves before syncing i believe it can hold it can hold quite a bit of footage but i'm not sure how much so it, i wouldn't take my word on it after you've taken your first video it will begin to sync the clips that you've taken to your phone itself and when it syncs for the first time it'll be in standard definition quality which is pretty low quality it's like 480p i believe and then later in order to get hd you have to go and click on get hd which when you click on that you're able to select whatever snaps that you've taken that you want and then you're able to get hd and it will turn on your spectacles wi-fi after it's done that you're gonna have to go into your settings on your iphone or android device whatever you have and then you're gonna have to connect to your spectacles after you've connected to your wi-fi you come back in here and it will begin to import in HD. Now this takes a little while. It takes much longer than importing standard definition, but you know, if you want the high quality, you gotta wait. I would have to say probably the coolest thing about spectacles is the fact that it shoots in the circle video. That's probably my favorite part. I love being able to just look on my phone and spin it around to see the video after you've recorded it. One thing that I'd like to note though, that's probably the biggest downside of these is that when you're posting them you can't even post in high quality on your story so that's like the dumbest thing whenever you want to go and upload a 720p hd video from these snapchat doesn't allow it at the moment it also doesn't allow to take a photo from them so that's also another downside but that can be fixed through firmware update because in the settings of the snapchat spectacles there's actually a location where it says that there is updates for this so in the future snapchat could let an update out that allows you to take photos from your spectacles but at the moment that is not currently possible so yeah those are the two biggest downsides that i do not like at all but besides that the actual spectacles themselves are they worth it in my opinion i don't really know it depends on who the person is because for me i live in boring old indiana so there's not many interesting things to shoot often but I would say if you're like in New York City or California or something like that, where there's interesting things to shoot with your spectacles all the time, then I would say it's probably worth it then. But for me, if you live in a boring place, it's probably not that worth it unless you just want it for the fact that you can be like, hey, look, I got the Snapchat spectacles for the cool factor, which by the way, these kind of look dumb and people make fun of you a lot so be ready to be ridiculed because of them but I'm not saying that they don't look good on you it's just on me people are always like <laughs> those don't look good but you know people have their own opinions on things and sometimes they don't like change like when I got these new glasses people didn't like them either but you know people just have to get used to it so they would probably get used to it on you too so now that I've gotten through all my rambling about these you guys are probably wanting to see some footage from this I've actually had these over like two to three weeks now so I've gotten a lot of chances to get some cool clips whenever I can so I'm gonna put in some of the coolest ones that I have right now oh you want a treat dance <laughs> dance
videotape the game. So as you guys can see, you guys can get some pretty cool clips from these, which, in my opinion, if you don't live anywhere cool, you don't really have a reason to use these because who's gonna want to watch you like I don't know there's not that many interesting things to <laughs> watch here in Indiana so yeah but besides that they get some pretty cool clips when you have a chance so yeah after having this case for a couple of weeks I've actually noticed some wear and tear on it which it's held up pretty well and another thing about this case is that it can actually hold a charge and it charges your spectacles whenever you put it in the case itself because on the spectacles themselves they have the contact point obviously but this is how you charge your spectacles right here is when you put it in the case and then once you want to charge your case it's got the same thing right here and you use that USB cable that I showed you earlier and you plug that in there and it only takes for me about 45 minutes to fully charge the case so that's pretty nice considering it can charge your spectacles up to four times I believe and your spectacles, whenever they're charged, they can shoot up to about 30 videos. So that's really cool. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys found this video interesting, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, click that button down below to subscribe, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to see my last video, that should be up there. And if you'd like to watch my last vlog, that should be down there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace.